Good morning, good morning. A new week has just started and I'm just back from my gym. I had two hour sessions today. I did the legs, arms, abs, lots of glutes, exercise. And now I am together my protein shake. Vanilla and chocolate. Hey guys, I just put myself a bit more decent after shower and now I'm going to do some shopping because next week I've got for you a very serious diet. Anyway, today is a very, very sunny day. I don't know what's happening with this weather in London. It's crazy, crazy. It's middle of September and it's so hot in August nothing always has been cloudy all the time shift going back home this morning differently than other mornings I'm so hungry I'm starving usually I'm not hungry after my night shift so I just bought from Pret this veggie roll and a mini shot it's like an orange turmeric something like that ginger whatever because I'm in a vegetarian diet this week so veggie yay everybody I just woke up you can tell from my look and I'm having breakfast because very soon I'll go to the gym this is my breakfast this morning I know it's a bit strange as a egg on toast because normally it's um, liquid but I don't like eat the yolk the liquid yolk because it makes me feel like so yeah, I don't really like it. Um, so I overcooked <laughs> my egg and then I'm having my tazzle tea as usual.
I just finished to put myself, let's say, a bit back in place because um, tonight I'm going out with my friend Laura, actually in a couple of minutes, and we're going to watch a comedy show, just trying to distract my mind on what happened earlier today. I'm going to tell you very quickly. I had the night shift last night and I was in a respiratory ward um, where usually I don't go to do shift there because I don't have too much experience with the respiratory, although I like. Um, so I did this night shift in the ward and it was we were having a, an amazing night, uh, not even a single call bell rang. And then suddenly at six o'clock in the morning, just two hours before the end of my shift, we had a cardiac arrest. Um, it was an, an old gentleman, like 76 years old gentleman, but it's been quite intense anyway. Uh, it was a long time since I haven't seen cardiac arrest, thankfully, thank God. Um, I've seen other cardiac arrest, I did other CPR before. I think the one last night was actually maybe my 10th or 11th person I've seen in the middle of cardiac arrest. But most of the time, um, because here in England they got this uh, uh, not recess form, most of the time the old people they signing this form uh, where they decided not to be uh, um, resuscitated in case of cardiac arrest. But this gentleman was for recess, <laughs> so we had to do all the CPR or the, the procedure there. So it's been quite intense, especially almost at the end of my of my night. Um, so I came back a bit quite late because um, I don't want to say I was shocked, but the level of adrenaline and the anxiety and you having in that moment when you're doing the CPR, I mean, wakes you up, of course, your body, your mind, everything. So I came back, when I came back about nine, I was more awake than... <laughs> <laughs> the day before then all the night so I went to do some shopping I went just like change fresh air distract myself and I went to sleep quite late about 10 so I woke up about one o'clock two now I'm going out just to distract just to see my friends I need to have social life sometimes mm -hmm. 